In the absence of expenditure data, we can apply the ranking method. With the ranking method, selection probabilities can be estimated by ranking the items. This table illustrates how to apply the ranking method. First, the items are ranked in order of importance. For each of the vegetables, staff use judgment to determine the order of the vegetables largest to smallest, based on sales. Instead of judgment, perhaps with vegetables, data on production could be used as the basis for making the ranking. Once the vegetables have been ranked from largest to smallest, based on sales, the selection probabilities are assigned. With ranking, the most important should be assigned the largest value. To do this, the inverse of the ranking is used. As you can see, broccoli was ranked number one, and it is assigned a value of four. Carrots were ranked number two and assigned a value of three. Beetroot was ranked three and assigned a value of two. And finally, potatoes were ranked number four and assign a value of one. The probability or percent and the cumulative probability are calculated. If we select one item, a random number between one and a hundred is generated. If 63 were our random number, then we would select carrots. If no information on sales or ranking can be obtained, Random sampling can still be conducted by assuming that all products have the same selection probability. Alternatively, shelf space can, in certain circumstances, be used to estimate sales proportions.